we got uh, Jackie McMullen on the phone with us now here in town for Tired Boston Sports tonight. And Jackie, uh, just start with what you've heard over the last 40 minutes as we process all this information about the NBA season being suspended. Well, um, this is the worst case scenario for the NBA. What we had heard all along from the very beginning was that their biggest concern was one of the players testing positive. And if that happened, we had all been told that it was going to have to be shut down, and you can understand why. And so for this to happen minutes before a game in Oklahoma City, uh, pretty shocking that it came down to the final minutes like that. And as we speak, those players are being quarantined. Both Oklahoma City and Utah Jazz players and coaches are quarantined at this moment. So the question is, where did Rudy Gobert get it? How long has he been infected? Uh, there were however many thousand people at, at TD Garden last Friday. The Utah Jazz played in that building. I was there. I'm sure some of your colleagues were there. I was at the MIT Sloan Analytics Conference. I think half the journalists that were at that conference were at that game Friday night interacting with the Utah Jazz players and with Rudy Gobert and others. So, you know, it has far-reaching uh, tentacles, and this was the one thing the NBA was hoping to avoid. They knew once one of their players got it. And, I, you know, I kept saying to them when they, when they banned the media, what about the officials? What about the officials who fly commercially, who interact with people in airports and in these arenas and touch the ball and then hand it to the players? What about them? So it almost seems like this was inevitable to me in some ways. Jackie, we don't know how long the league is going to suspend play for, but when it comes to making that decision, who does the league take its cues from? How will they come to that decision, do you think? Well, I think it will. Uh, certainly the Board of Governors will weigh in. Those are the NBA owners. But this is going to be Adam Silver's call. And, uh, you know, he was taking a fairly cautious approach to begin with. And it'll be interesting to see what all the other professional sports leagues do going forward as well, because now the NBA will be a different kind of test case, the kind of test case they didn't want to be. I would be shocked if the entire season is canceled. It's on hiatus. It's suspended. Uh, a lot of it's going to depend on how our country handles this virus and how they handle quarantining people that have it. All those things will come into play here. I'd be surprised if the season is canceled uh, because that would be through the end of June. Maybe the season is shortened. Maybe the playoff series are shortened. Maybe the season goes into July and August instead of June. I don't know. These are all, this is all conjecture at this point. I don't think the, I'm sure the NBA has given this a lot of thought, but they haven't shared it with people like me just yet. Jackie, what's your sense of, of the Celtics players, you know, especially playing that game against Gobert last Friday? Uh, apprehension, or what would you get the sense of that team is right now? Well, I can tell you that this has been a topic of conversation among players across the league. Uh, they, maybe not publicly, but this has been on their minds, as, you, as of course it would be. But once again, I would say NBA players, just like every other American and uh, every other European, everyone in the world, as we've been going about our business, you know, NBA players go to their games and then they go out to dinner afterwards or they go to the dry cleaners or they go to the Whole Foods or they go to Market Basket, wherever they go. And so... This has been on their minds, but it hasn't just been within their own, you know, these arenas and their practice facilities and all that. I think everybody was aware that it was, you know, this could happen. But it's funny, when you're around these young NBA players, they really believe they're invincible. And I think so many of them that I talked to thought, oh, I'm not worried about it. It's not going to happen to me. I'm washing my hands. It won't happen to me. Well, not so fast. All right, Jackie McMullen joining us on the phone. Jackie, thank you so much. Mm.